So what up guys, Dark Zombie up in here, bringing you some Prison of Elders information. So what I'm going to cover here is covering the strike and the Prison of Elders himself. So what the strike is going to deal with is um, they're making a strike into playing to the game for House of Wolves. I'm going to help main 19, L15. And what's gonna happen with the strike is the strike is gonna have it's gonna be mixed with different kind of uh, content like different kinds like three uh, maps together like first of all maybe like not I'm not trying to say like Omnigo kind of but it could be kind of like Omnigo um, the prison the um, it's called I forgot this map what is this map called um Arkham Priest Arkham Priest I mean and the summoning pits. And the awakenings. If y'all played the awakening, oh crap, I forgot about these guys. Okay. Okay, the awakening is you know that you have to run through the guy and at the end you have to kill the, the crystal and for the summoning pitch you kill the big guy, ogre guy. So what they're gonna do what they what they did into the game is um Um they did so you start up like summoning pits, you start up normal. Instead of killing the two knights when you start and go in. You go at the beginning of the match, it'll, st it'll pop up, they'll like spawn two streakers. And you have to kill, you have to kill the two streakers. You go through, and then that's where the awakening comes up. You go and you run through the awakening map. You go and literally go through, and you land into this room. And so once you, once you like land into the room, you encounter the, technically the boss, who, who you're gonna fight at the end of the street, on the, the end of the strike. And you're gonna try to shoot him as much as you can, and I'll tell you why you need to shoot him as uh, much as you can at the end of the video. So, you shoot him as much as you can, there might be some enemies around you, you need to kill them, take them out. And yeah, what I what I said about Omnigo is that you shoot him a little bit, but then he'll disappear. The same thing that happened to Omnigo, you'll, he like, Omnigo disappears once you shoot her uh, an amount of time. And yeah, so that's what happens with the, with the guy. And with the boss, you shoot him and then you go invisible for a while. And what I'm seeing is like the Arkham Priest. He does look like the Arkham Priest, but his face is technically like an oval and he has like a red in front of his face, like painted red. And yeah, once you, once you encounter him, you'll be able to go to the second room. Once you go to the second room, there's two bosses, I think. Yeah, they're easy. They're not easy, but I mean, they're kind of like like normal, like normal bosses. Like the Arkham Priest, like normal, yeah, those. Like the big ones, normal priests and everything. So you take care of those two guys, and you should be done with those. Once you kill, they might be enemies, um, yeah, some shanks, everything around there. Once you take those guys out, and after you do that, you should be alright. And after you kill those two bosses, you should be able to go to the next room. Once you go to the second, once you go to the third room, you will encounter another boss. So I'm not sure if it's three or two. I don't, I'm not sure if it goes in order to one, three. And I think it's just two bosses or one boss. You take care of those two bosses, you don't count the boss again. You don't count the boss in the last and in, in the other room too. There's like, and technically there's like four rooms. And you will count the boss in all of those four rooms. You'll be able to shoot him as much as you can. The good thing about the strike is that you shoot the you shoot the boss as much as you can, no matter what. And that's what I'm telling you at the end of the video. I'll tell you why you have to shoot him as much as you can. So you shoot him, you encounter some bosses through all the maps. After that, you do that, you you'll go through. and you'll land into the end of the strike. You'll go into a big room. Um, you'll be a, see the Devil's Lair. The Devil's Lair has a Devil Walker, the big tiny spider guy that comes up. I think in the Devil's Lair there's a spider. Spider little robot guy. So you take him down. This guy is not called the Devil's Lair. I mean, I love the Lair. The Devil's Walker. This guy is actually called the Devil's Walker. The Devil. I mean, not Devil. I'm focusing more into the game and talking, right? Need to focus on this thing, right? So he's not gonna no longer. He's gonna be named the Devil's Walker. He's gonna be named the Wolf Walker. House of Wolves. Wolf Walker. You take him down. He's like the Devil's Walker. He's not. He's. He's not hard to take out, but at the same time, he's hard to take out too. Because now, 
You might not believe it, but shanks are able now to explode. Shanks are be a shanks are able to explode now. Little little just little fucking robots. Yeah, they are they fucking trying to explode now on this shit. But yeah, they explode now. Somehow they explode, and you know, might they might kind of ruin a little bit of your kind of taking care of the devil, the how uh, what's it called the wolf walker, not the devil's walker, the wolf walker. By the little shanks, just watch out with those guys, and we should be fine. And once you take care of those guys, um, um, then uh, you'll be able to go to, to the I think the third room, not to I mean to the last room, to the boss room. Well, the boss room here comes the thing I was trying to tell you guys. The boss room, like I'm telling you, there are, he spawns in all four rooms, and you'll be able to shoot him. And you'll be able to shoot him as much as you can. His health, you can see that his health is halfway in every single room. But at the end, where, the, where you actually encounter him for the boss fight, he actually has still the halfway health. So that's why you have to shoot him as much as you can through all those four rooms to be able to kill him faster. Because, but you have to be quick because he disappears. You're like Omnigo. You shoot him too much, he'll disappear. That's what happens to him. At the end, he'll still, you won't regen health. You still, be, you still have the same health. And yeah. That's how you kill him. And yeah. The strike goes on like that. It's technically hard, it's technically not hard at the same time. The only thing that's happening is like bosses come up and that's why. If you have a good team and try to shoot um oh my god, my mom was the last one. Did he just literally kill himself? You saw that? So yeah, after you yeah. This technically you should get a good team and what kind of horse I prefer. And you should be able to take the uh not I was about to say the Arkham Priest fast, but I mean the boss, the house of boss, take him fast enough. Boy he doesn't take a long time to kill. Alright, here comes the prison of elders. So prison of elders comes up as you start it's a three men. It's a three only three guys. Prison of Elders, and I already got my team to face. Uh, yeah, we already made a path, and me and, uh, and all those two guys, um, I'll be able to play the um, Prison of Elders and the Charles of Osiris online, and me and all, and me and these two guys are already in the group, <clears throat> ready for House of Wolves. I hope y'all have some team, guys. And if y'all don't got any team, just gotta add me, guys, and I'll help you with it. Um, y'all, it's just literally my name, is PS3. Probably, I'll be getting a PS4, don't worry. And all right, so prison of elders overview on it. Um, what happens? What you have to do is you'll spawn in a, in a room. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm jumping in, in side to side. All right, so you jump in a room. In a room. You jump. I mean, not jump. I'm saying you spawn in four doors. Once you look around, you see four doors that you can enter. In every single room, there is three waves. On the first room. You enter, you first need to shoot this little, I don't know what is it, but a goo little thing that spawns in the door, you have to shoot it. Okay. It's not a goo, but it's something that, it's something weird. I don't know what it is, I'm not sure what it's called. But you, you shoot at it, you'll let, and then after you shoot at it, I think you kill it, and then you'll be able to go through the door. And all those doors, you'll go through, you go through three waves. You go through one wave, you kill the boss, you kill bosses as enemies, you go the second boss, so on the second wave and then the uh, third wave you go in and you take care of them. But it gets hot the, the, the first one, I think you kill an ogre. It's like two ogres, I'm not sure yeah, it's like two ogres on the first room. And then you go to the second wave and then the third wave. But every single time you progress into another level it gets harder. And it does get harder, way harder. So once you get on the once you get on the second door, the same thing, but it gets harder. It's not a thing. I'm not sure if it's not. I'm not sure if it's over now, but it's like kind of like a wizard, like a hard wizard, like I'm gonna go a little bit of her. I'm not sure, but it kind of takes a while to take care of her, and all the same for all three of them. And there's something good about these doors that they have their own perk. One is solar burn. So technically, for I think the end of the, I think the last door with the like the end where you have to like end the boss. I think. The cool thing about this, he's like the gatekeeper from Dakota. He's red, but once he goes in rage, you don't mess with that motherfucker. Hell no, you don't mess with one of them. You don't want to mess with that motherfucker. You know you. 
he does something incredible like I've never seen. So he goes in rage, but he'll put the whole room in fire. You have to be in air for 10 seconds, so because if you don't, he'll burn you and you'll lose some health. So what you need to do is just keep going, stop getting hurt, and like just jump up as much as you can. It's kind of like Omnigo. He'll she'll kind of like sound like poisoning you, but at the same time, the static of the fire. And I'll poison you, and you need to be up until the second se 10 seconds, and then after that, you should be good. And then you start shooting them, and they had more crits and everything. And all these waves, guys, there are going to be critical guys, critical yellow guys, you know what I mean? These guys are really important, because I'll say critical guys one out of three. If you don't not take these guys out, you'll be returned back to the beginning of the waves of the first door. You have to make sure that you take care of those critical guys. If you don't, then you're fucked up and you have to, you're, you're gonna get, <laughs> you have to do the whole thing all over again, guys. And that thing is not fun to do all over again. It does, it does really get hard. And like I'm saying, um, those, those doors do have their special pork. Special pork. Yeah, man, it's special pork, huh? Special perk. And like that. Once you, yeah, like I said, there's four doors. There's technically four doors you go through, and all those four doors, there's gonna be three waves in every single one of them. And yeah, those that's technically everything that I know, guys. And yeah, and the prison of elders information has been revealed from the prison of elders. Only. The Archon Priestess. And there's inside. plenty of videos out over the um, down in. Down to YouTube saying uh, President of Elders, and you can go check them out, guys. I'm showing you, I'm showing the information. Y'all can go watch the video from Bungie. Bungie, I think, uh, released it like, uh, I'm not sure, like an hour ago. Like, I mean, I think it was yesterday. I'm not sure when. But, yeah. I sent it to all I know, guys. So, I just want to know if I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment. And, yeah. See you later, guys. I'm died. Dang it.